Hi, I'm Nari Ansari, and in this video we're gonna talk about how you can create a Node.js server for a multiplayer game in Game Maker. Why we use Node.js? Because it's it's language, it's like a Game Maker language, GML, and it's faster than PHP and all of those languages. Uh, of course, we can use Game Maker to create our server for our multiplayer game, but that uh, for running a game on a VPS, you need a powerful VPS, and it costs a lot. It's expensive, but if you do it with Node.js, it's it will be cheap, like one dollar. Uh, as a matter of fact, there is a free one as well. There is some free one uh, as well. You can register for a free Node.js to test your code. Okay, so with that, without any further ado, let's begin. In here, I didn't install Visual Studio Code. Of course, I always have this Visual Studio Code because I uh, I use it a lot. And first thing to do, you should create a folder, okay? So, so in here, I create a folder. I want to call it Node.js Server. And let's just copy and paste the this path. And in here, open the folder. In here, select it. And it will create uh, open this folder for us. And what we need to do, we should create our server. Okay, so let's just create a new file. I want to call it server.js. Okay, and with that, it knows that it is it is a JavaScript file. You know that Node.js use JavaScript, and Game Maker is like JavaScript. Okay, so with that, we need something to set up in here. Okay, what we need, just open a terminal, new terminal, and in here. First, you should install the Node.js, right? So for installing the Node.js, if you go to Node.js.org and download, in here you can download a uh, download it for Windows, you can download it for Mac OS, you can download it for um, Linux, you can download it for all the platform out there, okay? Because I'm using a VPS that is using a Windows on it, Windows Server on it, I use Node.js Windows version. So download it, just install it, and when you install it, everything should be set up. And in here, if we say Node dash dash version, it will show you the version of the Node.js that you have installed. Okay, so this should give you. This is the test that will show you that you did install this version. Okay. Know that we have done this, um, when you install the Node.js, Node.js install npm as well. So with npm, you can install whatever package you want. And the package that we want right now is dgram. In Node.js, when you want to have a UDP connection, if you remember from last video, we did talk about why we use UDP packet, because it's faster, it's easier, and it's the packet, it's it's a circuit type that all the game out there using it. For example, Call of Duty is using it, right? So if you say, npm install dgram okay and with that it will install the dgram in the folder so now that our dgram is installed and it's okay let's just you can see that the server.js is the in this folder i don't want it to be like that so i would i will put it in the root and with that we can just delete this node.js and with that that server.js is at the root and if you go to this node module you can see the dgram is here and everything is set up and okay so no just open this server.js I want to create a variable okay how we can do that it's like exactly what we have done in game maker war in this i want to call it dgram equal the way that we can get the functions of this dgram is like this we say require and in here i want to require dgram and with that we will access to all of the functions in this dgram that we add in here and you can see it in here okay now we have access to all of those functions Control s to save it and first thing to do i want to create a server right so i will i will say war because i want to create a value so we create the server we put it in a variable like we did it in game maker okay i want to call it server equal and in here dgram dot create circuit okay and the type of circuit that i want to use is udp4 because game makers support udp4 okay and with that we did create a server next i want to say server whenever there is a message with that we say server dot on whenever there is a message okay run this function so with that we say whenever this server get a message run this function and we create a function in here okay the function we don't need to give it a name because we want to just uh, execute whatever in this function the parameter that this function get is a message for example msg and the re response data that is coming i want to call it our info okay and with that we can say console.log 
log the message okay whatever message is coming to this server just log it it's like exactly what we have done in game maker like show debug messages show debug messages in node.js is console.log so with that whenever there is a message coming to this server it will show it with this console.log just remember put this send column at the end of it next what we should do we should say server bind the port that we want to listen on okay in this case i want to use 8080 okay if you watch my last video about udp and sending and receiving packet udp packet you know that i i always use 8080 a lot of people use 8080 but you can use whatever value you want all of them is free okay so with just this line of code we create a server that we can send data to it and receive data from it now that we we have written this code let's just run it and for running it you say note after that the name of the uh, file that you want to run that is server.js and it will run the server for us okay and with that let's just go to game maker and you can see the game maker is here it's from last video whenever we le uh, click on left mouse button it will send a, a string that it says i am navi okay and for the ip because i'm running this i'm running this at the local host for no uh, if you can just put it like here and 8084 port and i did talk about this stuff for sending and receiving data in, in video before this video uh, just watch those videos so you know how you can send and receive data so let's just run this game and we have this game let's just open up our server in here and whenever we click in here you can see that it get the data in here okay and it show it in decimal values okay it's just getting the buffer you remember we create a buffer in here it's exactly like node.js it gets it's getting the buffer okay so for showing the string like we did it in game maker we can say a string with capital s okay with this a string we can show the message as a string okay so uh, the game is uh, the server is running so click in here Control c to, to stop the server and again say node server.js to run it again okay and now let's just send data well you see i did get an error why you can see that the s in here is a small s right so i didn't save it whenever there is a circle in here it means that it's not saved so Control s to save it and again with upper arrow on your uh, on your keyboard just open up uh, just write this node server.js hit enter and again it run the server and if you click in here you can see that it says i'm navi okay so what about response so we send the data from game maker to our server how we can have a response okay let me show you that in here whenever we receive a message we want to send back a data okay and for that we say server dot send it's easier than game maker right first input is if you hover over it you can see that it shows what you should put in here okay first input is the data that you want to send i want to say that message has received okay the next input I want to give the port that we want to send so with this response info we can get the port that we want to uh, respond to right so we say rinf our info that we have it in here dot port okay the next is the ip that is sending uh, data to us we want to uh, send a response to that ip so with this our info we can get the address in here and with that we send back a message has received okay so save it go here Control c to stop the uh, server hit up arrow key to write it write the node server.js for you hit enter again it run the server and whenever we click in here it says i'm navid it receive i'm navid but if we go to game maker you can see that game maker received that message message has received so now we create a server uh, with node.js that can receive data from game maker and send back response to our game maker everything is working fine right in the next video i'm going to show you how you can use json to send uh, for example the location of the player to server and other client can get that uh, location data and have it on their on their game as well so that was it for this video guys it's my honor to have you at the end of this video i hope you like this video please if you like this video hit that like button so i know that i should continue creating content like this creating server and for multiplayer game uh, for future okay so thank you very much for watching bye